Hey. It's just doing a short stream. Got everything set up, and we're looking at uh, some cicadas from the Brood X, which is the current brood. And I think there are three different species. You can come over, Laura, if you want. Uh, I think there's three different species in the Brood X. And I don't know the differences between them, uh, but there's probably only one that's um, the black body, orange legs, red eyes. I suppose we could look it up. The cicada species? You can try. There should be three different species in the brood X. And um, so we've got them in the stereoscope. And this one's alive. Its little wings are a bit messed up because um, it went out into the uh, rain, I think, and its wings didn't straighten out perfectly. And I kind of want to get it away from the edge of this petri dish a little farther. There, so we can kind of see the whole thing. There's its little mouth. See the mouth uh, is in here. Oh, wait, I don't know if they can see. Can you see my cursor? Oh, you're not looking. All right. No. Should check. I think I had it set it to it track says my it cursor. It three species. I just haven't been able to. Yeah. Well, one of them is black with red eyes and yellow legs. So, yeah. Well, one of them is black if I can. with red eyes and yellow legs. I think it's tracking so, my mouse. Yeah. Well, one of them is black if I can. with red eyes and yellow legs. I think it's tracking yeah, my it mouse. Is. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can say. So the mouth is right here, the little end of the mouth. It okay. It's wiggling its mouth around. It's on the end of its so really long tube. So the mouth is right here, the little end of the mouth. It's wiggling its mouth around. It's on the end of its really long tube. So the mouth is right here, the little end of the mouth. With the little hairs around it. It's on the end of its really long tube. So the mouth is right here, the little end of the mouth. And then the hairs around it. That's its and then cute little face. That's its and then cute little face. That's its so you can see. Face. It's so you can see. Uh, Noisemaker, I think, is what I would call that thing. Uh, Noisemaker, I think, is what I would call that thing. Does it? I don't know. I, I, I thought always thought it came out of its head. I think it's wing. I always thought it came out of its head. I think it's wing. Well, I you know, thought that crickets were leg noises. Maybe. Oh, yes. Well, you know, that that crickets were leg noises. So, oh, I don't know if that's a parasite, well, maybe? Were leg noises. I don't know. So, I don't know it looks like an ant. It looks hairy. It looks like the back end of an ant. It looks like an ant. It looks hairy. It looks like the back end of an ant. It looks hairy. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. We need a cicada expert to help us. We need a cicada. I don't know that, that I can tell the difference between the three species. No? I don't know that I can tell the difference. Well, all of them are red eyes. No? All of them? All of them are well, red eyes. Well, the three of them from the brood. All of them? Is there a smaller one? Yeah. All of them? I think it's probably the smallest one. Yeah. All of them? I think it's probably the smallest one. Magicatus. I think it's probably the smallest one. Cassini. Magicatus. Because this is really small, like relative to this is really cicadas small. that we see like, around here that usually are green with the red eyes. That we see around here relative that usually are green with the red eyes. This one is, it's really tiny. It looks this huge on the screen right now because, it's really um, tiny. Uh -huh. it looks huge on the screen right <laughs> now because, um, uh -huh. it's very magnified, but, um, it's very magnified, but, um, uh, but that's the, uh, 
but that's um, because we're zooming uh, in very but fast. Actually, this is as far out as my microscope will currently go. Actually, this is as far out as my microscope. It could take off the the nose extender. It says that the male cicadas have loud buzzing sounds. It says that the male special organs called timbals located for the first segment of the atom. Oh, so it's not head or leg or it's neither. Or legs or it's it's neither. Yeah, head or maybe it's what this thing is. Neither. Maybe. Maybe it's what this thing is. Neither. Yeah. Maybe it's a boy. Maybe it's what this thing is. Neither. Yeah. Maybe it's a boy. I don't know. Maybe it's what this thing is. So this one, as I mentioned, is still alive. So this one, as I mentioned, is still alive. It's still wiggling. So this one, as I mentioned, is still alive. And its wings are a little messed up. And I did not do that. Its wings are a little messed up. It was very wet when I picked it up. And uh, it was very wet. When I escorted it into the lab, and I thought maybe if we dried it out a little, it'd be okay. The lab, and I thought maybe if we dried it out a little, it'd be okay. The lab, and I thought maybe if we dried it out a little, it'd be okay. The lab, and I thought maybe if we dried it out a little, it'd be okay. Uh, but not at my hands. Feet. But done up, done what we could to save it. But not at my hands. Feet. But done up, done so, what we could to save it. But not at my hands. Feet. Can get its eyes nice and closely magnified. Can get its eyes nice and closely magnified. Can get its eyes nice and closely magnified. Wow, there. Around there. You can see each segment of the eye. You can see each segment of the eye. So they have a compound eye. So they have a compound eye. So they have a compound eye. And it is bright red. Oh, there's an echo in the stream. And it is bright red. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, it's because I have the. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, it's because I'm listening to myself. That's why. Should get that. Should get rid of it. Sorry about that. It's because the uh, desktop, it was playing my sound. It's just not playing it out of the actual, like. Yeah. So you can get a nice clear look at its eyeball. Um, cicadas actually have the two compound eyes on the sides, the big ones that you can see here with the little tiny um, eyelets that we're looking at. And then they have eyes on the top of their heads as well. Um, How do you call those? The little eyes? Yeah. I, I don't know. I think they're mostly used for, um, for, uh, like light and darkness. They're very simple. Yeah, I have a name in Spanish, but. Oh, you do? Yeah. I have a separate name for these types of eyes? Yeah. So this is a dead, uh, cicada that we found yesterday. And, um,. So I'll zoom out so you can kind of see what we're looking at. So it's flipped over, and uh, and then you can see where we were looking uh, is right in here. And those are the three little eyes they use, mostly for light detection, I think. And I think the bigger eyes are mostly for movement. So like when it's flying or, or whatever, uh, uses the bigger eyes. It's fixed? Okay, thanks, Johns. Um, yeah, so this is the way their wings should look. They should come out of their bodies, like... It shouldn't be so blurry. But um, they should come out of their bodies and just straight out, right? Oops. So hard for me to show because it's got to be zoomed out. And we're so close. <laughs> <laughs> There's a normal wing. Still a little messed up around the outside. You can sort of see the veins of it. And this one is, you know, other than being dead, I think it's the right, it's in its normal shape. It's also the same size as the other little guy. So, uh, I wonder if I should take off this nose extender. Cause it's making us super close. We were using it to uh, pick up diatoms in a stream uh, earlier in the year. You can see 
some sort of gunk. The gunk on this one. What is it like? Brain or? Oh, the acelli. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Oh, those are the little ones. Yeah. Uh, the little the ones little. that are on the uh, on the bigger eye. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that the little eyes, if that's what their names are. Yeah. So. Anyway, we have a nice view of the underside of this living one right here. And, well, it's alive for now, anyway. And then we have a, a view of the, the dead one from the back side. It's still alive. It's still wiggling its little legs. And then I don't know if that's its noise-making organ or not. Uh, it hasn't tried to make any noise. And then the sexy bits are probably down there in the end. It's got its little antenna. And then also on this uh, same little Petri dish, I have uh, Case the casings. Can you see the holes where the legs yeah. used to be? Yeah, there's where its legs oh used to go. You can see right down into the casing. That's a leg hole and another leg hole. And then where its abdomen goes. And then there's a leg hole coming out the front up here. And then that's its head, or where its head was. You can see it as a beetle, in its beetle form, basically. Uh, this is the underground form, the larval stage. And then it also has these little hairs all over its face as well. Um, actually, it's got little hairs all over its whole body, which are probably what it uses to detect its environment. But you can see the legs and um, in its adult form, the, the ones that we're looking at from the living and, and or dead ones that are here, um, it doesn't have the, the claws. So I'm gonna try to flip this one over so we can see the little claws that they have. Just the babies have the claws? Yeah, when they're in their larval stage, they have For these. For them to climb out of the Yep, they have dirt. claws to dig through the dirt, exactly. So these are their dirt digging claws right here. And full of dirt. <laughs> it actually is full of dirt. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm just trying to get the, the focus is different in the camera than it is in the on the screen oh, okay. a little bit. So just a little. But you can see there's sort of dirt covering this. And then there's the claw. And those are what make it look scary. To me, a little bit, yeah. Those crazy claws. So you can see uh, the underside it has these two bigger claws. And both claws are actually here on this one. The other claw is totally out of the field of view, though, or the plane of view, plane of focus. Um, but their faces are more or less the same. They still have these uh, compound eyes, and these are the sort of coverings from the the casing eyes. They don't have the feeding tube, do they? No. Um, their mouth parts, I think, are only in their adult stage. So you can sort of see the whole organism's body here. A little crusty. And then this was the one we were looking at from the top. You can kind of see into the inside of the casing. So it's pretty cool. And um, <laughs> such an obvious socket for the missing legs. Yeah, they they um, they're not dangerous for people uh, unless you're garden for plants. Yeah, they only consume plants, I think. And then they're mostly eaten by birds and other things. But they look kind of intimidating. Um, these little ones don't even look scary to me. The little ones just look cute, in my opinion. Um, the ones that we normally get are about twice as big as this. So we see uh, these sort of green colored ones normally. And they can be quite big. And those are the ones I'm used to from when I was a kid as well. Um, when we were a kid, we used to catch them. They're actually very slow, 
<laughs> easy, uh, to easy to catch. So, um, you know, like as a kid, I was always fascinated by them because I could, I could catch them, and then you know they weren't going to bite me or anything. So, um, they're like giant flies. They're actually closer to, if you're wondering, like uh, what kind of organisms they're close to. Um, if you're not familiar with cicadas, they're in the sort of leafhopper family or order. So leafhoppers are normally little, little tiny things you can barely see. Um, I have some great images of them that, uh, that I took with my macro lens. It's the only way you could really see typical leafhoppers, although they can get kind of big. Um, and the leafhoppers and the cicadas basically merge together into this order together. But um, it wouldn't be your instinct to think of them as being in the same group because, because of the size. Yeah, the size These difference. Are huge yeah. Ones. But their body shape is really similar. Yeah. Their wing shape and their body plan is very similar. So, um, so that's kind of cool. And um, we have leaf hoppers all over the place. If you just go out in the grass and like run your hand through it, you'll. That's the thing is the. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that are basically the little tiny tiny things that go flying out. If it's not a moth, it's probably a leaf hopper. So at least around here. And I think it's kind of neat that you can just see right into the mouth parts. Oh, it's moving it. <laughs> yeah, well, um, this one's probably starting to dry out a little bit. Uh, it probably doesn't like the configuration of its wings now that it's dry, because it doesn't look like they're useful for it. But um, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I think when we're done with it, we'll put it back outside. And let life decide what's going to happen. Yeah, I think maybe the birds will get it. Um, I don't know what else eats them besides birds. Um, they might be just a little too big for dragonflies to eat. I yes, don't know. I There's some pretty so. big dragonflies. Um, and they, they can eat some fairly large insects. Um, oh. And I saw a dragonfly out. But only I, baby dragonflies. Um, hunt oh, that's or the adult ones as well? No, I think the adult ones uh, hunt for insects mm -hmm. because their legs are built with these sort of cage because structures. Because I know the baby ones things. are predators, like really yeah, yeah. good ones. Yeah, the larvae are, are, for dragonflies are also very good predators, true. Um, but the adults are also, uh, for dragonflies, also catch, catch bugs and then eat them. Okay. Yeah. I've got pictures of them eating some. In fact, I've got a picture of a dragonfly eating another dragonfly. Oh my god. So, um, a big one eating a little one. Do you get the ones that are not dragonflies? Damselflies? The ones that make a, ha a heart? Make a heart. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are damselflies. Okay. The wings go up instead of out. Uh, that's, that's the primary one. I think so. Yeah, they're, they're skinnier and then... Yes, yeah. really skinny. Yeah. Uh, do we have praying mantises? Yes. So Jans, um, the praying mantises usually are all over campus, and um, I have some great macro photo, photo photography of those as well. Um, and they hang out in all the bushes and eat the butterflies around here. When do they? Emerge? They're not out yet, though. Um, I I don't think I've seen them. Well, they may be out, but they'd be really tiny at this. And point. the butterflies aren't out yet. Just I a few seen butterflies. A lot. Yeah, and I, last year I almost didn't see any butterflies until almost July. Ooh, okay. So I don't know if there was something going on with the... I didn't see anything about it, but um, I really didn't see a lot of butterflies. So... Not sure why. Um, this is kind of neat to be able to get a nice close look at them. And... Um, Right now, it's a big deal. Uh, in Terre Haute, the, the, where we are currently, the cicadas aren't bad. Um, I mean, in the sense that we, we don't have... The amount of them. The volume of them <laughs> is very... Concentration of them is very small. Um, but the, if you just go down to Bloomington, which is about uh, 50 miles something south of here, um, they're just swarming everywhere and the, um, the molts are all over the place and they're so loud, basically you can't hear birds. Um, I've seen some scary pictures, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're all over all of the vegetation as well. Um, so I'm waiting for that to happen here. 
Uh, and then uh, also I'm waiting for, they're not at my house at all, which isn't very, I'm only live like two miles from campus. And, uh, and I don't see any uh, of these in our house yet, but they're here on campus. So, um, you know, this was just on the sidewalk on the way in. And uh, you can see this little guy is starting to get a little more active. He's probably unhappy with the bright light in his face from the... Uh... The hairs are perfectly golden. That's very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Oh, it's wiggling more, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's a little more dried out, and I think it's starting to get a little more active as a result. So I don't want to torment it. Uh, actually, I think it's nice that we put it on the microscope because I think the lights probably help dry it out quite uh -huh. a bit. Um, but it was soaked. <clears throat> yeah, it's got a great big uh, proboscis on it that it, it's, uh, you can see very clearly here. And um, if you came in a little bit late, you can actually see it's sort of tube-shaped, obviously. And uh, we're at sort of the, we're actually at the lower limit of my microscope <laughs> when we started there. So uh, you want to get a nice clean view of it. As long as it's not wiggling it too much. There you go. Uh, it can kind of reposition itself a little bit. So yeah, it's probably like, cut it out guys. Enough with the bright light in my face. Yeah, and I don't know if that's the organ that makes the noise or what's going on, if that's some sort of parasite. Well, it did say it's in the first segment of the abdomen, and but I would think... That's what that is. Yeah, I think it is, because the the legs grow on the middle segment, mm -hmm. so that looks like it's the first. Yeah, yeah, this is the abdomen, this is the thorax, and yeah. it's right at the boundary between them, which is supposed to be the... So I would think maybe that's it. Yeah. And so I'm not an expert in cicadas or bugs, actually. So, and I meant that literally. This is in Hemenoptera, so. Hemen, hen, hemen, hemiptera, uh, which are the true bugs. But um, we can't get really close. We'll get another close up of the eyes here before we. Maybe we can try to flip it over. I don't know. It wasn't crawling very much when we had it. It was just kind of sitting there. Uh, I brought it in on my uh, chai tea concentrate that I was bringing in for uh -huh. the lab to try out. And uh, now it's looking at us while we're looking at it. You're being watched. It will emerge again in 2038. Yeah, so these are 17-year cicadas, and sometimes they, um, they're they off by a year or two. Like, sometimes it's, like, they're... plus or minus, right? 17 years is the average. Um, and I don't know when the normal cicadas for our region start to emerge, but I think they overlap. So there should be some really loud uh, cicada noise next month. <laughs> the two of them are still together and they're both still around um, oh here see Jan says the cicada's sound organ is located underneath their wing roots so that's not correct uh, which is right that's the wing root so uh, actually that does look like the organ right there wrinkly yellow this, thing? This thing right here yeah. is an opening. So I don't know what that thing is. It's actually just Maybe on the it's surface. Just the <laughs> could be a, it could be a parasite. It looks like there's an, you know, like a whole organ organism in there, like an ant or something. So they are in the order Hemiptera, then family Cicadidae. Yep. Genus, well, we, Mega well, this is, Cicada, but not a, not all of them, right? Yeah. No, just this one was yeah. Magis, Magicata or whatever. Megacata. Megacicata? Is that Megacicata. what it was? Megacicata. Magi. Magi. Magic. Magicicata. Yeah, Magicicata. It's magic. Magical. 
Yeah, I think this, that's what that organ is, that yellow thing that's under the wing right there. We don't have any of our probes over here. I could try to pull the wing back a little bit, but I think it's this, this thing right here. What's our expert saying? <laughs> yeah, I think maybe it is a parasite. It looks like another organism. Um, yeah, hi, Mrs. J. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, their eyes are pretty different, so. It's kind of neat. And, uh, I guess we would freak out if it started playing its song super loudly in the lab here with us. A little. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a little too much. Yeah, so there's a dead one. We've un unfortunately been storing here right next to the living one. It probably is not happy about that. It's probably like, is that what you're going to do? But you can see this one also has some sort of a wrinkly wing, so maybe it didn't completely form correctly, and that might be why it's dead, too. Um, for the one that we have, it has both wings are kind of, uh, kind of messed up a little. So there's the, the wing's a little folded. So it looks clean there, but where it joins the body, it kind of is folded over. It's on the wrong side. It does look weird. Yeah. Well, it, this part's supposed to be on the outside, on the on the back, on yeah. the dorsal side, not on the belly. You can see it's kind of folded mm -hmm. over right there. And then this wing is really messed up. Yeah, the uh, other one's The other really wing wrinkled. is, it really didn't dry out the uh, this wing correctly at all. There you go. So that one's all crunched up. So anyway, I just thought I would take a little bit of time to take a look at one of them on the stereoscope. We haven't done a stereoscope screen stream in a long time. And, uh, and I thought since we had an opportunity to take a look at them, we can. I think so we'll take the dead ones that we have and put them on the SEM. Uh, for maybe next week and maybe by next week we'll have more uh, cicada bodies laying around as oh well. My God. <laughs> I think we're gonna have Mallory uh, chop this one up and uh, not the living one but the dead one that's on here and then we can look at the pieces a little bit more easily in the SEM and then we'll also probably pull apart one of these casings and take a look at it. I think we've looked at cicada casings in the past um, but we just had one and uh, it was kind of dirty, so maybe we'll clean it a little bit. Yeah, so it's fun. Can we take a picture of its face? Uh, we can, actually. And this, uh, this microscope is actually outfitted with a, um, a really cool feature. It does Z stacking. So we can see like the... So we should be able to, if that was, if it's working on the live build. Looks like it is. Um, I should be able to click this button. Here, let's zoom in a little. And then focus like way up at the top. Maybe the antennas. And then, uh, wait, is that where I want it? Or I want it to the other end. Yeah, like way up here. And then I think I can just click this and it's in live build mode, which means as I focus, it will, um, oops, oops what happened? <laughs> it lost track of itself, I think. Clear the current canvas results. Something happened. <laughs> oh. Not sure if it knows what it, I was doing there. So we should be able to just roll this and then it will put the whole image together for us if it's working. There. I think it was trying to take the picture. Uh, but we can also just take a standard picture so that 
just in case that one didn't turn out very well. Sit still. the cicada mortician. Really, we put her in charge of chopping up all the dead bodies in the lab. Uh, the ticking noise is actually uh, Eleanor in the background who's preparing some samples for us for uh, from diatomites. Yeah, it's actually she's crushing some, some rock. rock. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of rock material being crushed. Okay, so I think that's all we were going to do. Nice. Uh, just a short little stream to showcase it and um let's see if i can find somebody i thought spider id was on yeah Are you we, rating them yeah we'll grade spider id so we'll send you from one bug stream to, to another, another. Hey, awesome. Sorry, you're catching us right as we were closing up here, but the video will be available. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, we're gonna raid Spider ID now. Um, we were just taking a look at this uh, cicada, and then we'll also be putting some of the dead cicadas on the SEM next week, probably. So, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll have a look at everything uh, nice and close. So. Uh, and you can check out the video uh, we have here. It'll stick around for a couple of months. Um, but uh, we took a look at the living ones. We looked at the other eyes, the, the backside, the dead ones, and the, the molt casings as well. So, um, all right. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. I'm going to be SCM streaming in like, I don't know, two hours or something. Uh, so, uh, see you soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. <laughs> From the other lab. Okay. I think the raid worked. It didn't pop open with the, oh yeah, it did. <laughs>